Hey, hello. Welcome to Science Share Chorus. In this video, we are going to see about centrifugation. That is another separation technique by which we can separate the components of a mixture. In the previous video, we have seen about sublimation, which is another separation technique where a solid substance is directly converting to gaseous state without entering the liquid state. Now, in this video, we are going to see about centrifugation uh, by which we can separate each component according to its density. So, as the definition goes like this, a process to separate the components of a mixture according to its densities. So, uh, a mixture consists of different components in it. So, according to the different uh, densities of the particular component, it is getting separated. How we are separating, we will be watching in this video clearly. Now, in this definition, the word density, what does it mean? So, density is nothing but un mass per unit volume. So, what does this formula tells us? Let us take an example. So, let us take an example as wooden object. So, this wooden object we have taken and from this we are going to take a unit volume. For example, this particular region is having like 1 centimeter and this is also 1 centimeter. The length is 1 centimeter and the breadth is also 1 centimeter. Now, this is a particular unit volume. Now, what is mass? As we know that mass is nothing but the amount of matter present in that particular object. Now, the amount of matter present in this particular unit volume is nothing but density. Clear? Since this is a solid object, the amount of matter will be more in this particular unit volume. So, this is nothing but density. Clear? Now, uh, once again, I will I'll tell the uh, centrifugation uh, definition, which is a process by which we are separating out the components of a mixture according to the various densities of the components. Clear? Okay. Now, how we are separating this? This centrifugation process is being done with an instrument called as centrifuge. So, this centrifugation process is being done with a machine called as centrifuge. So, before going to the working of centrifuge, we will see what is the principle behind this working of centrifuge. Okay, now it works under the principle of centrifugal force. What is the centrifugal force? This force is nothing but the force which is being applied to the object which is moving in a curved path and this force is always from the center towards the object. Uh, you might have seen this merry round uh, um, game which the children used to play in the park which will be like uh, in the center there will be a big rod and surrounding it the uh, children uh, sit and they play so each in each division this, uh, a child sits or stand and uh, this continuously rotates now in this case what happens the force is being applied from the center towards the outside. So, in this case, what is happening? The force is being applied from the center towards the object. So, that is nothing but centrifugal force. So, a force applied to an object which is moving in a curved path and this force is acting outwardly from the center. Now, in this case, the person sitting in this place will be experiencing a force which is coming from the center. This force is nothing but centrifugal force. Now, this same centrifugal force is being used to separate the components of a mixture. Now, 
let us take an example and be specific so that we can understand very clearly uh, let us take calcium hydroxide solution the okay, calcium hydroxide is actually solid uh, like which is being mixed with water and you are getting calcium hydroxide solution now this is a mixture so example we are taking calcium hydroxide solution that is nothing but the formula for calcium hydroxide is ca oh twice you are mixing it with water you are getting calcium hydroxide solution now i i want to separate this components like just for example i want this calcium hydroxide back as a solid now what can i do i can use a centrifuge machine by using the centrifuge machine i can separate out the calcium hydroxide from the solution so what is happening in the centrifuge you are placing the mixture in the centrifuge tube and this centrifuge tube is being rotated at a very high speed this centrifuge tube is being rotated at a very high speed so during this process what is happening the centrifugal force is being experienced by the object present in the centrifuge centrifuge tube and slowly the denser particles are moving down and the lighter particles are moving up now in this case you are taking this calcium hydroxide solution in a centrifuge tube and this tube is being rotated at a very high speed so during this rotation the centrifugal force which is acting from the center towards the object this calcium hydroxide solution will be experiencing the centrifugal force so during that time what is happening the denser particles in this case the calcium hydroxide is more dense than the water so slowly what is happening in the test tube the calcium hydroxide is being settling down at the bottom and the lighter particles are going up so in this way we are separating the components so where and all we are using this centrifugation process like for where what are the applications of this centrifugation process so for example if you take uh, cream cream is a dairy product and uh, this cream is obtained from the milk so to separate out this cream from the milk we use centrifugation process since the density of the cream is more it is more denser when you are placing this milk in a centrifugation uh, uh, machine that is the centrifuge what is happening it is rotating at a very high speed and slowly the cream is settling down which is more denser and the liquid part is going up which is lighter in nature this is an application of centrifugation another example where uh, the centrifugation is being used is like uh, in many diagnostic labs in laboratories in many diagnostic labs uh, to separate the components of the blood we use this centrifugation process so in many diagnostic labs what we use is to separate out the components of blood now before going that what are the components of the blood so it is nothing but rbc that is red blood cells next one is wbc white blood cells next is platelets and another one is plasma now in this case uh, so why we need to separate this components of the blood for example let us take an asilman uh, situation a person is suffering from dengue a person who is suffering from dengue uh, will be having less number of platelets in it so a person with the uh, platelet count which is below the normal needs more number of platelets so generally by taking uh, food like through the foods a person can increase the count of the platelets but in some critical situation in some critical condition there may be a platelet transfusion process where from outside you are sending the platelets inside the 
uh, human body. So during this time, I want only the platelets. I don't want RBC, WBC or plasma. I want only the platelets uh, to increase the count of the person who is suffering from dengue. Now, so for this process, we are separating the components of the blood. Same process, you are taking a test tube and in this test tube, you are, you are taking the blood, blood sample you are taking. So, this test tube is being placed in a centrifuge and it is rotated at a very high speed. So, after some time, if you see what is happening, all the components are being separated according to its density. Each and every component will be having a particular density for it. Now, in this case, what is happening is that this in this test tube, RBC which is having more density will be settling down first. The next one is WBC. The next one will be platelet. The last one will be plasma which is nothing but the fluid part of the blood. So according to its density this components of the blood has been separated. Now after this again there are many processes by which only the platelet is being removed and this platelet is being transfused to a person who is suffering from dengue or who, a person who needs a, an increase in the platelet count. So this is an application of centrifugation. So this is all about centrifugation where we see uh, the separation of the components according to its density by using a centrifuge. So in the upcoming videos, we will be seeing the different separation techniques as well. Thank you.